So another quarter, and that means another earnings preview. Hello, everyone. Welcome to here, Mark. I am at IG, and here at IG, our top traded stock is none other than Tesla, consistently so as well. So what we are going to do is take a look at third quarter earnings, starting off with uh, what we had in terms of deliveries and production last week. Those figures, not going to spend too much time on it, but long story short, they were a miss, even if the company is still aiming for a total volume of $1.8 million for this year. But here's the thing. When you got a miss in terms of deliveries, it means you're probably going to have a lower earnings per share uh, as well as revenue coming out of analysts. And indeed, we did see the figures start to be revised a little bit lower. Now, in comparison to what we got in the second quarter of this year, as well as for the same period last year, you can see that the figures are expected to be lower. And so too, when it comes to revenue compared to last uh, quarter, uh, roughly tw $24.9 uh, billion, the expectations we're going to be looking at $24.21 uh, billion. Now, we had price cuts again on the key models once more, year on year down about over a third. And uh, when it comes to over the past 90 days, still single digits, but significant nonetheless. And that means that margins are expected to remain tested. Growth, gross profit margins, by the way, expected to remain within the 18% handle. And now those looking with a more short or midterm outlook, they're obviously going to look at, at uh, margins. They're going to look at intense competition, whether in the US or uh, out of China. Those that are trying to be a little more optimistic are going to look for any updates when it comes to Cybertruck, the Dojo supercomputer, which by the way, led to analysts at Morgan Stanley last month to offer a huge increase in their price target, as well as an upgrade for Tesla's stock. Uh, speaking of analyst recommendation, by the way, all these figures, by the way, courtesy of Refinitiv, uh, the analyst recommendations are still net slight buy. There's six strong buy, 12 buy, 20 holding, three sell, and four strong sell. Not too far off what we saw uh, when it came to our, our earnings preview for the second quarter. Um, but overall, you can see that in this case that the analyst recommendations, while slight net buy, uh, it is a bit lower than what we see for the average for the industry. Although the optimists here are going to say, well, hold on, don't put Tesla in the same category as the rest of those, uh, as the rest of the uh, automakers. But what about when it comes to clients on our side, IG client sentiment? In this case, we're going to take a weekly chart. Um, that means every candlestick here, every candle represents uh, a week of, of price action. And we're going to go ahead and play, plot sentiment onto it. Blue dotted line as percent long looking at the left axis. There's no 50-50 red dotted line here because throughout this entire period of time, since, uh, what is it, uh, uh, last November until now, never venturing into majority sale territory, majority buy this entire time, and it has worked in favor. You can actually take a look here and see that uh, when, when prices took a dip um, below 100, you can see that they went towards extreme buy territory, prices came up, longs got out, but overall still stayed majority to the buy side, even if they managed to drop briefly out of heavy buy territory. Uh, once again, on any price dip, looking for an excuse to go back towards majority buy territory. And over here, when you see that price going up towards similar level over here, you can see that sentiment reached you know, what fell out of, of, of uh, buy territory. But you can see that even though price moved on, if this was an FX pair, if this was oil, uh, you would see that longs getting out a whole lot more and maybe even shifting towards majority sell. Not here, however, and it has to do with the, with the, with the long-term bull trend channel, which I'm going to pull up shortly. Once again, when prices come down, looking for an excuse to go back the, uh, towards uh, extreme buy territory and oscillating within these levels. And, and I want to briefly just Go over this is available in the article, but the technical overview on the weekly time frame still bull average because of this bull trend uh, channel that we have, but very wide, which means you can conformists are going to have to be very careful before buying into any weakness, and uh, con and that means you can't really rule out contrarian strategies doing quite well in this uh, frame as well. So what do I mean by that? Let me go ahead and pull up IG's trading platform, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now this is since the start of the year until now, and you can see that this is a long term. And very, I got to say, quite wide bull trend channel. And this is the problem with the wide bull trend channel is that when you have a move from one end to the other, say from here to here or from up here all the way down to here, it can easily tilt not just short term uh, uh, daily technicals, which can make it look like it's a bear, ch uh, bear trend, but even longer term weekly technicals as well. And right now we're sort of in the middle, you know. Uh, very close to the middle of the band, uh, slightly, you know, just above some of these key longer term moving averages, not a significant uh, margin when it comes to the positive DI over the negative DI and the ADX not too far off trending territory, but only just and an RSI above 50, but nowhere near above overbought territory. So I would say a lot of the key indicators neutral with slight positive bias and given within this channel means that it's going to remain a bull average. I say remain because at the uh, when we were doing the earnings preview for the second quarter, prices were up here. And it, you know, you would think, oh, this is a bull trend where, you know, at the time the ADX was in trending territory, but at the time I still classified it as bull average, noting, of course, this channel. And, and I want to point out one more thing when it comes to levels and technicals. You know, this is a fundamental event. So if the results truly veer far from expectation, you can see significant moves that can easily, you know, make quick work of levels. Uh, and as a result, you obviously want to have more caution 
whether going conformist or contrarian. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck out there and happy takes.